Hello students, welcome to Solve Sales Classes. In this video, I will be solving the following questions on geology from JAM 2017. Now, in the previous video, I have solved up to question number 6. Now, let's start with question number 7. Now, here it is given that conservative plate boundaries are represented by, there are four options, normal folds, transform fold, growth folds, and reverse fold. The correct answer of this question is option number C, that is, is transform fold as conservative plate boundary or conservative margins are also known as transform walls these transform walls are mainly found on oceans so they are mainly found on ocean floors where they offset mid-ocean ridges where they offset mid-ocean ridges and enable to ocean to spread at different rates that is it enable ocean to spread at different rates so the conservative plate boundaries are represented by transform force which are found there which are mainly found on ocean floors where they offset mid ocean ridges and enable ocean to spread at different rates so the correct answer of this question is option number C. Now next question is which of the following prismatic crystal forms belong to hexagonal crystal system. Now this is the pictorial representation of hexagonal crystal system. The hexagonal crystal system has four crystallographic axes. So it has four crystallographic axes. Four crystallographic axes consisting of three equal horizontal or equilateral axes. As we can see, these are three equal horizontal or equilateral axes, and they are at 120 degrees to each other. And one vertical axis, this one, one vertical axis which is perpendicular to the other three so it has four crystallographic axes in which three are equal horizontal or equilateral axes that are 120 degrees to each other and there is one vertical axis which is perpendicular to the other three and this vertical axis, this can be longer or shorter than the horizontal axis. Now, among the following prismatic crystal forms, the first one that is denoted by 1120, this belongs to hexagonal crystal system. So, the correct answer of question number 8 is option A. The next question is which of the following the characteristics rock of contact metamorphism is which of the following now first we will learn about what is contact metamorphism now this contact metamorphism occurs to a solid rock so this occur to a solid rock next to an igneous intrusion next to an igneous intrusion so the contact met metamorphism it occurs to a solid rock next to an igneous intrusion and it is caused by the heat from this igneous intrusion and it is caused by the heat 
from igneous intrusion when these rocks that are in contact with the igneous intrusions they get altered they frequently becomes more indurated so they become more indurated and more coarsely crystalline and more coarsely crystalline and the many altered rocks of this times are called hornfels so the correct answer of this question is hornfels that is the characteristic rock of contact metamorphism is hornfels now and the next question is the volcanic equivalent of nepheline's cyanide is now the volcanic equivalent of nepheline cyanide is phonolite so the correct answer is option number c this name phonolite it comes from the greek meaning of sounding stone sounding stone because of the metallic sound it produces if an unfractured plate is hit that is the metallic metallic sound it produces if and so the volcanic equivalent of nepheline cyanide is phonolite which has received its name from the greek meaning of sounding stone because the metallic sound it produces if an unfractured plate is hit so the correct answer of this question is option number c that is phonolite